Welcome to our top 10 Android launches that you probably haven't used before. We're going to save the best to last, and with that being said, let's get right into it. Number 10 is a very strange departure from tradition. Instead of home screens and app drawers and icons, this is a launcher based on commands. Say you want to uninstall an application, you literally type the word uninstall, space, and then the application's name, and that's how you do it here. And in a way, it's quite a practical launcher too. When you get used to how it looks, there is a lot of information displayed on screen at any one time. Number 9 is BlackBerry Launcher, one that has some really good and interesting ideas, but at the same time doesn't feel quite there. It's pretty fast, and it's got the traditional combination of separate home screens and an app drawer, and that aspect of it works fine. It's even got swipe up widgets, which means that certain icons you can swipe up and it brings up the full widget without actually having to install it on the home screen. But I'd say the aesthetics of some of the elements in this launcher are a little bit unfinished, and the fact that if you don't pay for a monthly BlackBerry service, there are ads in the app drawer is criminal. Flick Launcher has taken most of the features of the stock Android 8.0 launcher and added tweaks, mostly pretty subtle tweaks, but one that helped the customization experience. It tries to understand you a little bit more and your preferences, and creates a launcher that's a little bit more inspired by you. You've also got the built-in ability to tinker with icon shapes, so you can turn them all into circles or even teardrops. Number 7 is Lena Launcher, which tries to bring the aesthetic of a desktop experience to your Android phone. And truth be told, it works best when you've got a mouse and a keyboard, but it can work without. Instead of opening your social medias as mobile applications, it opens them as mini browser windows, which display the full desktop sites. And you could multitask, you could have three of these windows open at any one time. It also organizes your files into a very much Windows slash Mac style interface, and it's quite an intuitive way to browse them. Okay, you might have heard of a company called Infinix. Then again, the odds are you probably haven't, but it is a Hong Kong-based smartphone manufacturer, and this is their launcher. It is brimming with customization and themes for you to choose from, and has even got this pretty handy shuffle button, which basically shuffles the wallpaper, saves you having to pick one yourself. It also automatically organizes your apps into folders, and what's cool is once you've opened one folder, you can browse all of them from there. Number five is Lean Launcher, which you may have heard of because it has only recently come onto the scene. And similar to some of the previous ones we've looked at, it is based on stock Android 8.0, with some extra customizability. You can change icon shape, you can change animations, but what I do particularly like about Lean is its gesture support. For example, right now, it has allowed me to configure my phone so that any two taps on the home screen turns the display off. A slightly more niche offering, this is Big Launcher and it could be for someone who has come from a non-smart device, or someone who wants the connectivity options of Android, but perhaps not the complexity. It really does make things very easy for you. So you don't have too much in the way of customization, but you've got your battery indicator, you've got your signal strength and your time, and the main icons it thinks you'll be using, as well as an app drawer to explore the rest of them. It's also got a bit of a safety angle here, with this dedicated SOS button. Okay, I think you're gonna love this one. This is Total Launcher, and it is essentially anything you want it to be. It is flexible to the most minute level you've probably ever seen on an Android home screen, but at the same time, it makes it very, very easy for you using the built-in themes. Upon selecting one that you like the look of, your entire home screen is instantly transformed, and whilst it looks like it's taken you weeks to compile, it actually took you about 30 seconds. And because these themes have been designed with the launcher as flexible as this one, the way they look can vary wildly, which makes this an awesome launcher for someone who just wants a little bit of a change from the traditional home screen setup. Number 2. Smart Launcher 5 and this is the best iteration of the long-going series of smart launches, primarily because it makes things very easy for you. It has an ambient theme throughout the launcher that adapts based on the wallpaper you've applied. Your applications are grouped without any input from your part, and there is an all-in-one search bar, which encompasses most aspects of the things you'd want to use. All right, number one on this list is Yandex Launcher, which has been a continual improvement over the years, but I think now has reached a stage where it is a really great option. In fact, there is so much to talk about with this that it's difficult to know where to start. The launcher comes with some really great exclusive wallpapers built in with it. You've got a news feed on the left-hand side of your displays. You've got notification badges, customizable icons, themes, pretty much every single setting under the sky. And the animations on this launcher by default are rather beautiful. You can also sort your applications by the color of their icons, which sounds unintuitive, but actually becomes a very fast way to select them. All right, guys, if you did enjoy this video, I've got loads more on some really cool stuff you can do with your Android smartphone. So I'll leave those as a card above. 
With that being said, if you are new to the channel, if you could smash that subscribe button down below, that would really mean a lot to me. My name is Aaron, this is Mr. Who's the Boss, and I'm signing out.